Hey guys, welcome back to the game wrap up. I'm Minnie Man. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Project 99 Forever Quest up and running. Everything I say and do will be posted down in the description below along with links as well as the Project 99 guidebook, which is what I've been using to basically get this up and running. So the first step is we're going to be downloading Daemon Tools. I'm going to select free license and agree and continue. So Daemon Tools is going to be used to mount the CDs, which is what we'll be downloading once this is finished installing. Right, so now I'm going to quickly minimize this. I'm just going to close some tabs. And then over here I have the Gmail link. I will be posting it down below. And this is the link used to get all the CDs for the game. So we're going to download each CD individually, CDs 1 through 5. So we're going to go back to daemon tools and now we're going to start the quick mount process. So we're going to click quick mount and we're going to start selecting the CDs. You will notice though that you won't be able to mount the fifth CD and that's fine. We will sort it out when we get to that part of mounting. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show the prompts of the mount as it was on my second screen. I was not able to move it over, but I feel like it is pretty easy to follow the prompts. So now we're going to mount the fifth CD. So we're just going to replace one of the CDs, take it out, and then put the fifth CD in and then follow the prompts to mount it. Now it's going to ask you to re-put in the first CD, which is fine as it is already mounted and we're going to finish installing. Now that all the CDs are mounted, we're going to go back to the gal book, make sure we're following all the directions correctly and now we're going to um, download this patch file. So this patch file is very very important. It basically needs to be downloaded every time a patch is um, put with Project 99. So the reason I'm not putting a link to this file is because it's going to change every patch. So make sure you have that guidebook link up and ready and saved so that every time a patch is released you can go and download it. Another important thing to know is when you extract this file, it needs to be extracted in the right file. So make sure you are extracting it into the Evercase file over here. We're going to replace this destination and we're going to do this all documents. Make sure that's selected. Great. So now that's done, we're going to go into the next step, which is creating our account and registering. So I'm going to create an account, just a test. And if you guys um, 
Whoop, sorry. Nope. Nope. There we go. If you guys want to refer us, here's the name of one of our main accounts. Show us some love and support. We need a complete registration. And now we're going to go to our Gmail and verify the link. Close these tabs. And we're going to go back to the guidebook and finish the accounts. So we don't have an emulator account, so we're going to click here. And we're going to type in our phone number. Make sure you use a valid phone number as you will be sent a code to for verification. And now we're going to log in with the account we have just created. So when I was creating some accounts, I did have issues where um, it wouldn't let me in. And all I had to do was reset my password and then it worked. So if you have issues, just try that and see if that helps you out. So now we're going to download the, the client for EverQuest. Um, I use the Lavish software, which is used in the guide, but if you have another program, I'm sure if you can use it. I'm just going to install this. Close this. And now we're going to go to lavishsoft.com and we're going to register an account. And then we're going to go back to Gmail and verify the account. And that's all you have to do for installing and updating and getting ready for Project 99. The only thing left to do now is to launch the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and launch the client and follow the prompts that pop up. Then we're going to go to the top right, right click, and then we're going to go to EverQuest and select it. Oh, select default profile and the game should start loading up then you're just going to press accept and then log in with the account that we created during this video if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you guys are interested in any live everquest or any variety of games come watch me live on twitch at mini mazar thanks for watching and i'll see you next time